Deep for the wave, number 28, Harold Dennis, Steve Berrios, Ricky Davis. I'm Doug Bell, Scott Hunter on the sideline. Steve Cole kicks off for the tie. That's Dennis fielding it two yards deep in the end zone, and here he comes. And he's brought down just past the 20-yard line. Lamansky Hall on the stop for Alabama. John Copeland in on the stop there as well. This is Chip Clark. David Palmer. The deuce breaks in the open. One man to beat. Gets a nice block and he's going to score and excite the homecoming crowd. Touchdown, Alabama. There's Steve Webb. Forces Woods to step up. And there's Robert Stewart. Chip Clark boots it away. David Palmer lets the ball bounce out of bounds. At about the 15, let's mark it at the 14-yard line. That's where the tide will take over. The wideouts, Donnie Finkley, Prince Wembley. They can burn it. Danny Woodson back to pass. Sounds like Scott knows exactly what he's talking about. The long one, and it's complete. Kevin Lee out of Mobile. Down at the 27-yard line. Boy, Scott Hunter nailed it. Saran Stacy, Kevin Turner line up behind Danny Woodson. This is Saran, the man of the hour we featured on the top of our broadcast, and he breaks it up the middle for another first down. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. Seven minutes to play. Kevin Turner finds a huge hole and scores for Alabama, 13-0. A lot of times, the defense is going to have a blitz called, and the offense is going to have the exact right play called in that situation. And there was a perfect example where Tulane had the blitz, Alabama had the right play called, and once the block was made, there was nobody to stop him. 5.50 and counting to go in the first quarter. Duncan back for his first pass. And it's intercepted. Antonio Langham picks it off. And here comes Alabama. Second and seven. The ball on the 27. There you see the score and the time in the first quarter. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon for football. Danny Woodson's second pass of the day to David Palmer. And you hear the excitement in the crowd whenever he touches the football. The crowd gets on their feet. Ham Green, two out of three in field goal attempts this season. Trying this one from 30 yards out, and he makes it. Three out of four for Ham Green, 17-0 Alabama. Chip Clark, third punt of the day. David Palmer back to receive it. Fair catch for Palmer at the 23-yard line. David Palmer wide to the left. Eric Lassick in the backfield. Lassick up the middle. Spins, breaks a tackle, and gets a first down. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Martin Houston pulling his way forward, breaking a tackle, getting close to the first down. Goes to Houston again, and again, Martin just rumbles forward for a first down. The legs keep pushing, pushing, just runs right over the defensive back. Not a real fair uh, contest there. On the right side, Kevin Turner, the other fullback. Going for another first down. Camp Green, 35-yard field goal, kicked a 30-yarder in the first quarter. And Hamp does it again. So far, he is perfect on the afternoon. 20 to nothing, Alabama. You could even hear some of the Alabama guys on the defense saying he's moving the ball. There's the punt to David Palmer. He feels it at the 36 and breaks up the middle. Takes it to the 44-yard line. Chris Anderson in the ball game now, the sophomore from Huntsville. He's lined up behind Martin Houston, and he takes the pitch left. Chris Anderson. 
goes for about 10 yards, which is about his average. 10.8 yards per carry. Woodson back to pass, complete. Dabo Sweeney gets close to a first down. We'll see if they gave it to him or not. I like that name, Dabo. Third and short, Martin Houston is the guy to give it to. Gets the first down easily. It's the senior backfield now. Kevin Turner at fullback. Saran Stacy takes the pitch. And there's the pass. We saw it against Pipple, and it connects against Tulane. David Palmer. Seven twenty-four to play before halftime. Jerome Woods back at quarterback. It's the draw straight up the middle. Middle Chance Miller. Third down and three. The ball is on the 27. Chance Miller behind Woods. And it's a first down. Wilbert Urson with a reception. But if he hadn't have stood in there, Jerome Woods would have never gotten the pass away. First and ten from the 44. Nice pump fake. Intercepted by Antonio Langham, his second interception of the game. Rick Brown, wide right, Dabo Sweeney, wide left. Looking for Sweeney, nope, Saran Stacy Breaks it across the middle, gets down to the 47 yard line. From the 47, Danny Woodson straight back. Kevin Turner. Cuts it up, first down. Uh-oh, there's a clip. It's going to come back. Curtis Brown, the obvious clip. David Palmer now goes wide left. Mr. Thornhill will have the pleasure of covering him. Dabo Sweeney wide. Here's the reverse. It's the double reverse. David Palmer. Up for a first down. Four straight New Year's Day bowls. Major Ogilvy. Danny Woodson rolling left. Nice pursuit by the Tulane defense, although Woodson shows an acrobatic move and gets up close to the first down. David Palmer in the slot. Rick Brown wide right. First down, six for the touchdown. David Palmer chalk up another one for the man they call the deuce. Three touchdowns of the day for the freshman from Birmingham. Tulane has had a rough, rough schedule, as Steve mentioned off the top of our broadcast. The fourth toughest schedule in the country, according to the USA Today. Billy Duncan was staring Robert Stewart straight in the face and left Robert holding the bat. That ends the first half. Ten-yard game for Duncan. But it's been all Alabama. Homecoming crowd, very happy. Oh, yes, it's working out pretty well right now. And, um, I, I create a lot of double teams, and I cause a lot of things to happen, so apparently I'm getting my job done. Good to see you. All right, there's the kickoff of the third quarter. It's Derek Lassick taking the ball and getting brought down right around the 36-yard uh, line, and another flag has gone down. Yeah, I don't think he'd change that. Face mask against the defense, first down. The inadvertent face mask, so that puts the ball up right around the 43-yard line as Alabama comes out. Saran Stacy. Breaks free. Gets a first down. John Smiley, Smiley the 20-game winner for Pittsburgh, apparently got knocked around pretty good. Danny Woodson rolls right and connects. Derek Warren, first down Alabama. First down and 10. Curtis Brown, David Palmer are, is the wideouts. Woodson to Saran Stacy. Runs over a man and scores a touchdown. Explosive Mike Stade just got uh, plastered by Saran Stacy. David Palmer gets a breather. It's Chris Anderson fielding the punt. 
Chris goes back to his 22-yard line. Number 33, the sophomore from Huntsville. Breaks it in the open. Gets up to the 42. And a little wrestling match going on. Donnie Finkley wide left. David Palmer wide right. Jay Barker back to pass. It's the screen pass to Martin Houston. He gets the first down and more. Can he go all the way? The big fella, 5'10", 235, gets, won't go down, fights his way to the 21-yard line. Jay Barker, third and 17. And again, the screen pass seems set up perfectly. Kevin Turner fights his way for another Alabama first down. Martin Houston, he wants a touchdown the worst way. Gets up to about the four-yard line. Jay Barker, Martin Houston, and the big fella gets six points. You were right, Doug. He just said he wasn't going to be denied. The SEC Game of the Week Monday night, 10 Eastern on Sports South. Billy Duncan back to pass. Finds a man open, and Wilbert Urson brings it in at about the 46-yard line. Chance Miller is lined up behind Billy Duncan. He's the lone setback. Back goes Duncan, and he better look out. It's a fumble. Damian Jeffries, the freshman, falls on it. And Antonio London laid the hit on Duncan. Craig Harris, now the fullback for Alabama. Chris Anderson takes the pitch and finds a big hole. About three yards short of the first down. Well, let's see if uh, Hamp Green can connect from 50 yards the crowd in anticipation. Let's listen. And it's wide right. A lot of young freshmen in for Alabama now. Sam Shade, number 31. Tommy Johnson, a quarterback from Niceville, Florida. There's Dennis. Gain of about 12, maybe 13. First down to Lane. Two freshman quarterbacks in for Alabama. Let's see if Tulane can exploit that. The completed pass. Duncan to uh, Joey Perry, their freshman. There's Billy Neighbors was pushing him back along with uh, Jimmy Sharp and uh, Billy Rice and Charlie Bell, Leroy Jordan. And Frocky dived over for the first down. Man in motion this time and travels back to pass. And it's a beautiful pass to Tommy Brooker, who goes into the end zone for the score. From Pearl, Mississippi. And it's blocked. Alabama blocks it. And it's run back to about the 44-yard line. Jeremy Nunley with the block. Jay Barker, third and seven, finds Chris Anderson. Wiggles his way up close to the first down. He'll be a yard and a half, two yards short. Ronnie Claymont on the stop. Barker again pulls it down. Flag down. We've seen that a few times. He gets stopped right at the marker, but let's check the flag. We have a 10-yard defensive holding foul. will be administered from the end of the run. First down. Jay Barker trying to lead Alabama on a touchdown drive. Up the middle. First down and more. Craig Harris. Gain of 13. Jay Barker. A handoff, and it is a touchdown for Craig Harris. His first of the season. He'll cherish that one. 54-0 Alabama, 8-16 to play. James Tooley is now uh, kicking off. Steve Cole's leg must have gotten tired, so James Tooley now kicks off. And he kicks it short, about the seven-yard line. Straight up the middle goes Joey Perry. He may go all the way. One man to beat the kicker, and he will go all the way unless he gets nabbed and does at the seven-yard line by Tommy Johnson. Tommy Johnson saves the touchdown. And Tulane is trying to score one of their own. Steve Ballard. 
is wide left along with Wilbert Urson. It's Urson. No. Crowd wants a shutout. Duncan confused. And the touchdown is no good. Billy Duncan never, never really had a grasp of things. He lined up underneath the guard. Went back to the center. Bobbled the snap. And Tulane is scoreless. Scott, what do you have? Okay, Doug. Uh, well, Danny Woodson, did you get better today? A lot better. As an offense, we got a whole lot better. Uh, we saw a lot of things that was uh, Tulane did, and we just had to execute what we planned to do all week, and we, I think we did a pretty good job of that. The coaches told me you might throw a bomb the first play you did, and it's good. Well, we had worked on that all week, and uh, we uh, just went out, and they was in the coverage that uh, Kevin Lee had a chance to run down the defensive back, and uh, I had to put it up, and he made a great catch. Irving Spikes, Craig Harris. This is Spikes. Check that, Sherman Williams. Goes forward for a first down. Hank Williamson, his second punt of the day. Wilbert Urson fields it at the 11. Gets dropped, Charles Gardner. I guess James Harris, the old quarterback of the Rams, was about that big, but uh, one of the largest quarterbacks I've ever seen. Completed pass to Jay Young. And he lets it out, wide open. Urson catches it down at the 25-yard uh, line, a minute 30 to play. Tulane still trying to avoid a shutout. Woods. The completion to Tony Clark. Fourth down. Plains last shot to avoid the shutout. And it's intercepted. Tommy Johnson. Breaks it up the sideline, and it looks like Alabama just might have more than 60 points. 61 to nothing. Tommy Johnson runs it back. 90 yards. We'll check the yardage. Early in the season, uh, Tulane played Ole Miss tough, losing 22-3, and then Florida State lost 38-11. There's a completion to Steve Ballard. I know the Alabama coaches are, are really probably happy to have this one behind them because you just never know what might happen in a situation like this. With Tennessee next week playing a team 0-6, and, and it's really easy to look past a game like this, but Alabama played extremely well. I know the coaches are pleased with the performance. Final play of the game, unless he goes out of bounds, Jerome Woods does go out of bounds. Are they going to call it? Yes, that's the ball game. Gene Stallings wins his first homecoming game as head coach of Alabama, the final, 62 to nothing. You name a player, and yes, they probably scored for Alabama today.